CNN op-ed toys with the idea of a sex strike before the midterm elections. I'm not exactly sure how sex and voting go together, but for Wednesday, Martin, she explains, plenty of us have sex once in a while to make our partners happy, but regular service sex is something else, an arguably destructive habit fostered by specific social conditions, a symptom that something is amiss in not just our sex lives, but in our larger lives and the culture more generally. It's time for a revolution at the polls and in the bedroom and in our understanding of who women are sexually and otherwise. Given the tight interweaving of economic and political power with sexual entitlement, female sexual autonomy has never been more urgent, and women's sexual pleasure has never been more political. Let's consider what it might mean to go on a sex strike of sorts to get what we want rather than give what we think we owe others. In our case, a sex strike against service sex can be a powerful statement. That female desire, a metric of agency like women's votes, will be heard. This reminds me of an ancient Greek play called Lysistrata, where women withhold sex as a way of forcing men to negotiate peace during war, but it only inflames the battle between the sexes. This is just a bizarre correlation to me, politics and sex. I also think she's not aware of No Nut November. Lots of men are on strike from sex this month anyway, so joke is on her. She doesn't realize that men are also interested in having better relationships with women and sex by abstaining from sex in November, making it more meaningful when they commence in December. But to have a woman actively deprive a man just for power and politics, that can actually cause the opposite of her desired effect, just like in this ancient play. That could force men to say, screw this, I'm voting red. The more these types of women try to conflate things like sex and politics, and the more women like this act as if there is a war between the sexes, the more of a disservice it is, the bigger the divide gets. It's important to remember that men and women are complementary. It's like yin and yang. We should work together. That is something she doesn't understand. Men want to please women, but it seems like this woman is only focused on herself, which would make her the worst partner ever. If you want to see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, like and subscribe.